I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What is up you guys? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Fitness Friday. I'm here in the truck again. This is really just the best time for me to film videos is when I come to work out on my own um, and I just like I have a to-do list that I knock out one by one. I just went live in my Facebook group, my fitness Facebook group and so now I'm doing my video. Um, I opened a package that has my new gym bag in it and I'm pretty excited. I don't know if anybody else is a bag collector like I am, but literally I have four bags here in the car that have, they serve different purposes. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys today is it kind of relates to what I talked to my fitness Facebook group about. So if you guys do want to join that, it's free. It's just a place for me to connect with clients, people that are in the My Transformation app, which is a fitness app for workouts, nutrition, all of that stuff. Um, just a place for me to help people on their own health and fitness journeys and literally it's for free so it's just a supportive community but i wanted to talk to you guys um about i guess this kind of piggybacks on my my video from last week about my own fitness journey is what to do when motivation starts to fizzle out so we've probably all been there you start a new workout program you start a new diet you say i'm gonna go on a diet i'm gonna start on monday i'm gonna do this this and this every single day and it's gonna be great i'm gonna lose a bunch of weight i'm gonna lose a bunch of fat i'm gonna gain a bunch of muscle and first two weeks you're rip roaring you're going like things are going really well you feel really good your energy is going up you're starting to see results week three life kind of, life kind of starts to happen you know um maybe your schedule gets kind of thrown out of whack and you're like that's okay i'm gonna keep going week four happens and you're like ah, you know what, this is this is kind of hard. Um, I'm not able to do this anymore. Excuses start to bubble up. Again, life happens. Your schedule might change. Something might happen to where you miss your workouts for several days. You fall off the wagon when it comes to nutrition. You go to a family gathering. You go out to eat. Things start to go haywire. And so this is the point about week three, week four. This is when things start to fizzle out. This is when people that started out a program super motivated, super excited, on fire, like ready to go, start to start to fizzle out. You start to let those excuses get the best of you. Um, you start to notice that progress isn't happening as quickly. So you're not as excited to get into your workouts or focus on your nutrition and eating healthier and things like that. And so what I wanted to do was offer just a few simple tips that you can focus on until that motivation comes back. Now, I think it's important to talk about motivation itself because this is one of the most common questions that I get as a health and fitness professional, especially whenever people see my results over time, they ask, how do you stay motivated? They see me coming into the gym. They see me, you know, continuing to focus on my macronutrients, on my nutrition. Uh, how do you stay motivated? That is one of the more common questions. And really the thing is, you guys, is motivation is fleeting. Motivation doesn't stay around. And this doesn't just go for health and fitness. Think about, I think about my YouTube channel. I think about how there are gonna be times where I'm super fired up to get content out, to film videos, to, to talk to you guys on the camera, and to get content out. And then after two or three weeks, I'm like, ugh. Like, I just, I'm out of ideas. I don't have motivation to film. You know, it's it happens with everything. It's not just a fitness journey. Motivation is fleeting. And this is why it's so important to build those daily habits and build that discipline to keep going because we're not always motivated to do the things that we want to do that are going to progress us forward, you know? So in health and fitness, there are going to be days where you're ready to get after your workouts. You're ready to get up and moving, whether you're going to the gym or not. You're ready to eat healthier foods, make better choices when it comes to your health and fitness. And then there are going to be days where you just don't want to get up off the couch. Netflix is calling. The Cheetos in the cabinet are calling, you know? Not every day is going to be fire lit by motivation. And that's why it's so important to focus on these daily habits and and usually and use these as baseline habits to keep you going 
so that you don't feel like you've completely fallen off the wagon. And that's when people struggle to get back on it is because they fall off the wagon and then they light the wagon on fire and then they run away from that wagon. <laughs> you know, it's not just falling off the wagon. One day isn't a big deal. If you like Halloween, I'm planning on not working out. I'm planning on having treats and, and enjoying all of the good food and not tracking my macros and not worrying about it. That one day of falling off the wagon isn't a big deal. It's when Sunday rolls around and you're like, you know what? I screwed up my diet yesterday. I'm not going to work out because I don't feel good. I'm just going to eat everything today. Monday rolls around. You feel even worse. So you're like, I just, I've lost all my progress. And that's when people start to really fall off the wagon. And then, like I said, they light it on fire. One day of falling off the wagon, you can literally just get back up, get back on that wagon and keep going and barely skip a beat, you know, but it's when people continue to stay off track and use that as an excuse to not do anything. That's when progress goes backwards. That's when you backslide. And so if you guys can focus on these three things on those days when you don't want to get anything done, when you don't feel like working out, you know, you don't feel like going all super intense towards your, your health and fitness goals. If you focus on these three things, I promise you progress can continue and then whenever you start to feel better after a few days, give it a few days, you will feel better after you start to feel better, that motivation and that determination will start to come back. But some days we can't rely on motivation. So that's why you fall back on these three things. Now, what are these three things? Super, super basic, not sexy answers. Like it's just super basic stuff. Focus on moving for 30 minutes a day. It doesn't have to be an intense workout. You don't have to come into the gym and lift a bunch of heavy weights. Get up and walk. Walk around your house if the weather's bad. I know that a lot of you guys are up north and so you're starting to get snow and cold weather. Walk around your house for 30 minutes. Break it up into three 10 minute sections throughout the day. Just walk 30 minutes a day. If you can't walk, move. You know, sit in, sit in place, move your arms. Doesn't matter if you look crazy, just move, just do something. Sit in the chair and do leg lifts while you're sitting in your chair. You can do some of these, some of these little arm circles. Grab some cans of soup, do some curls. Grab some cans of soup, do some lateral raises, do some shoulder press. 30 minutes, break it up into three 10 minute sections throughout the day. Focus on your water. Water, you guys, is so, so important for overall health. It's so important for digestion, for hormone function, function for, hormone, um, for hormonal health, for metabolism. It's so, so important. Focus on 80 to 100 ounces a day. I'd say, I'd say more so 100. Don't chug it. Drink it throughout the day. Do not sit down with a gallon of water and say, Blair told me to chug this whole gallon. You'll make yourself sick. It's very dangerous. Drink it throughout the day. 100 ounces a day is a baseline that I try and aim for with my clients. But if you're drinking, you guys would be so surprised. I have so many clients that come to me drinking less than 40 ounces of water a day. That's barely a little bit more than one of these per day. So if you're, if you're barely, if you're struggling to get this much per day, focus on this plus another half and add in little bits each day. But focus on your water. Set reminders on your phone if you need to. Sit, put sticky notes on your mirror in your bathroom. Put a sticky note on your refrigerator to remind you to drink your water. Focus on that. So we've got movement, 30 minutes a day. We've got water, 100 ounces a day would be optimal. Work up to that. Protein. Just focus on hitting a protein intake for the day. And this is going to vary depending on person to person, of course. Um, but a good general guideline, if you have no idea how much protein you should be hitting, take your body weight, multiply it by either 0.8 or 1 gram per pound of body weight. And that's a good general guideline to shoot for. Now, as we get older, our body can't actually synthesize protein as well and muscle tissue breakdown happens at a more rapid pace. So protein is actually more important the older that we get. So 0.8 grams to point to point point eight grams to one gram per pound of body weight per day. So for somebody like myself, a good baseline, I actually aim for 165 grams a day. I'm I'm right around that weight. So <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just a good general starting point. Um, if ever you guys need more, 
instruction on macros and, and protein, I do offer online health and fitness coaching. I've been an online health and fitness coach since 2014. It's my passion. I freaking love what I do. So you guys don't hesitate to reach out. My email is in the description box below, but that's a good general baseline. Aim to hit a protein goal per day. That's it. You don't have to make it super complicated by aiming for calories or carbs or fats or anything. Just baseline aim for protein. If you start to see that you're eating like 40, 50 grams per day, same thing with the water, slowly add it in as you go, but work up to that goal of 0.8 to one gram per pound of body weight. That's the long-term goal. But literally, if you focus on those three things, moving for 30 minutes a day, whatever you can do, just move for 30 minutes a day, drinking water, 100 ounces a day would be a goal to shoot for, and protein, 0.8 to one gram per pound of body weight. If you focus on these three things, I promise you, after some days, possibly a week, you're gonna start feeling better. And over time, you'll be able to build on those. So after those three things start to become solid habits that you do, your non-negotiables, you do whatever, no matter what, then maybe in time you can add in some strength training to that 30 minutes a day. Or maybe in time, you're gonna drink a little bit more than 100 ounces a day. I guarantee whenever you're drinking enough water per day, you're gonna notice massive changes. Digestion, mood, sleep, energy, everything is affected by water. Our body is 70% water. That's a lot of water. But whenever we're not drinking enough, like that can just show you how much it can affect every aspect of your life. Protein. When you're eating enough protein, your body is not going to break down very, very much needed muscle tissue. Um, and so you're gonna feel better overall. You're gonna perform better, not just in your workouts, but day-to-day -day life. It's more satiating. So for people that do focus more on a caloric deficit, it's easier whenever you're eating enough protein because you feel more satisfied between meals. Um, those three simple things, that's it, that's it. So even on days whenever I'm, off track, I try and focus on those three things. I try to move, we get out for a walk every single day. I try to drink enough water. Sorry guys, my contacts are getting kind of dry from all the wind. And I focus on protein. That's it, super, super simple. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. If you want to commit to these three things for the next week, comment below, I'm in. And then I'll send you a link to our Facebook group. I would love to have you in and I would love to keep you accountable to your goals. Let's check in and on Facebook. Um, let me know. Let's do this. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to add in more helpful content for you guys. Just general baseline, not even rules, guidelines for you to focus on your health and fitness because I know it can be overwhelming whenever you're starting over or you're starting completely new. And I know with 2020, the season of 2020, the year that is 2020, that a lot of us are starting over. A lot of people are, and you guys aren't alone. But just know every day is a new opportunity to move forward and to better yourself internally, externally, in so many ways. I would love to help you guys in any way possible. So if you if you did find this video helpful, make sure and hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Feel free to share it. I would really, really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I look forward to chatting with y'all in the comments and I will see y'all next week. Okay, <laughs> have fun out there. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.